Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I want to talk to you today about how to become the top listing agent in your community. It basically starts, at least for me, uh, to choose who you want to do business with. That is to say, you've got to narrow your community down to the people that you want to uh, work with. That is the price range you want to work in and the neighborhoods or zip code that you want to work in. Once you know that, you bring a community of, say, a, a million people down to somewhere very manageable of maybe less than 20,000. That will help you focus your efforts from that point on. From that point on, you have to help people achieve what they want to achieve, and, and you have to do it by making them change habits. People only change habits to avoid pain and to gain pleasure. So you have to find someone who's in pain. Where do you find people who are in pain? To my way of thinking, it's people from, who have expired listings, or they've canceled their listings, or their house has been on the market for 180 days. Well, we can gather all of that information off of our MLS listing. In my community, we use Paragon. So I find the people who are in pain, and then I communicate with them because they have a problem. They're in pain because they have a problem. And what does that problem result from? Normally, it's from price, it's from presentation, or it's from lack of awareness. Another way to say that is lack of marketing. Once you find that, you need to present them with a solution to their problem or a solution, if more better said, to their pain. The solution is going to come in a number of forms. One is going to be a price change, possibly an updating in the property, some marketing, and then approach them not as a listing agent, but instead as a salesman. You need, if you're selling a house, it's probably worth more than $250,000. They need a salesman. They need someone to sell it. So you're, you need to pr give them a value proposition such that you are their salesman. What might that look like? My value proposition goes something like this. Are you looking for an agent who will do more than put a sign in your front yard and create an MLS listing and push it out to the websites? Are you looking for an agent who will market your home through conventional media as well as social media and get your home built an awareness within the community? And then are you looking for an agent who will show up for every one of your showings and sell your unique home to the unique buyers who come through the door? That's my value proposition. Does that make me different than other agents in the community? You bet it does. There are only 5% of the real estate agents in the United States who actually show up for their showings. I think this is criminal. I think if you were buying a $250,000 car, you would accept, expect and deserve a salesman to be there to sell you the features and the benefits of that car you're selling a 250,000, maybe even a million dollar home, and yet we open the door, let a unfamiliar agent and unfamiliar buyers walk through the home, and we expect them to buy it. That's my value proposition. Okay, then what it, that's the problem, that's my solution, and how do, then how do you convey this to these people that we've identified you want to do business with. My number one tool is snail mail. I write a letter and it basically says, starting the first sentence is, are you puzzled why your home didn't sell? Well, if your house hasn't sold, you are puzzled. And someone is asking you a very pertinent question. I follow that with, I think I know why. And then I go on to explain why their house didn't sell. And in many cases, it's, it's price presentation, and lack of awareness. And I detail that within the letter so that these people know that I have a solution to their problem. I then use social media. I pretty much focus on Facebook and LinkedIn. Facebook has become a problem within the last 30 days. As a result of the Russian probing in our elections, Mark Zuckerberg has basically said he will not put my ad on anyone's Facebook 
timeline that I don't have a prior connection with. Now, I used to be able to get by that with that by going through the tax records and sending Mark their name and uh, their, their address, and he'd say, well, Kerry must know them. That doesn't work anymore. I either have to have their name, their address, and their uh, email address, or I have to have them have come to my website, be recognized by my Facebook pixel, and it goes into a database that Mark controls that says Kerry knows John and Mary Doe. So Facebook's become a problem. LinkedIn, on the other hand, has become a opportunity. Through LinkedIn, if I know the name of the expired listing person, or I know the name of the canceled listing, or someone who has a listing for over 180 days, I can go to LinkedIn in search, put their name in, and if they're on LinkedIn, I can find them. I then go and I ask to connect with them it gives me an opportunity to either send them an invitation or send them a message. I send them a message. I'm only allowed to use 150 characters, but basically I say, I'm a real estate agent. In my case, I specialize in luxury homes. I'd like to be your source for current and factual information on the Birmingham real estate market. Would you like to connect with me? If they do, and roughly 40 to 50% do connect with me, I then have their permission to email them or message them through LinkedIn with factual information on the real estate market. I have a connection. I can then advertise to them through Facebook as well. The other thing that I do that sets me apart is I also, through LinkedIn, have connected with local media. That is, the reporters, the producers of TV stations, uh, magazine reporters. These people's job is to gather good content and present it to their readers or their viewers. You're in an industry that is has a lot of interest right now. You can provide them with information, which then they will reward you with helping you promote your homes. I have a, another video that I have done that is entitled, I believe, something like How to Work with Your Local Media to Promote Your Business. Take a look at that. That is my way that I have. I've been in the business for, for two years. The first year was a learning year. The second year I have gotten, I'm up to about, I have about eight listings for uh, $12 million. I'm going after the luxury market. I am one of the top listing agents in the community. I think if you'll follow what I'm suggesting, you can be one of the top listing agents in your community. But again, follow the steps that I've shared with you and check out my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out a video on a regular basis to help you grow your real estate business. Thank you.